Welcome back. I am going to recap the basic, detailed, and advanced dry manicuring techniques. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so I wanted to show you a different type of cuticle. My last model had beautiful nails, but sometimes they're just not as, let's just be honest, not everybody has awesome nails. But my client here, I wanna do the same exact thing and show you guys exactly how, what great results you can get from the advanced. So I'm gonna ask my client, how does this feel? Feels fine. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just making sure, like I see you can see her nails are already, you can see that pocket. See how my pusher is getting right underneath? I call that nice and floppy. I am working in the forward direction and I'm at 9,000 RPMs. I'm pulling back the skin and since I'm working in the forward direction, I'm center to left. Exfoliating the dead cuticle, turning my client's hand so that I'm never flossing, and cleaning. All right, I would do all 10 fingers, and then I would switch to reverse, start in the center, and work my way down the right side. We are always going opposite in which our bit is spinning. I don't want to floss that fold, but I do want to remove dead skin cells. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks with just a few passes. Super clean. I did that with a micro taper, but you can do the same thing with a cuticle skiver. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to drop my barrel. All right, now I am going to prep the regrowth area, prep the nail, dropping my barrel, rubbing it back and forth. I am so gentle. I am allowing the abrasiveness of my tool and the e-file to do the work for me. I do not need to push into the skin and that is why it's so important that you are working with Erica's bits to perform these techniques. All right, now I'm gonna use my large flame and I'm gonna turn my e-file to 10,000 RPMs in the forward direction and I'm gonna sweep out that debris. What I'm doing is I'm using that cheek and I'm feeling for, oh, right there. Can you feel that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, your client can even feel the debris as well. So just cleaning up the dead skin cells on the nail plate. And then what I'm just doing ever so gently is I'm taking that tip and pointing it up so that I can exfoliate the ceiling. All right, once I've done that, turn my machine into reverse and I worked on the right side. Remember, there's not a wrong or right. It's just a matter of preference. I wanna make sure I'm cleaning and smoothing out so I can get the perfect pocket. That way I can tuck my polish. You can see how much I'm opening that up. Let's take a look. Your nylon brush, always move your brush towards your client. Again, I'm just showing you a different type of nail, different type of cuticle, but still being able to perform the advanced dry manicure. Nice. Right there, what we've just done is the detailed. So at this time, see how we have a little bit of skin right there? I could use my cuticle scissors or my nipper, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep going and use my ball bits. But since I have my flame in, I'm gonna go ahead and do my chicken wing. So make sure that you're checking my elbow, okay? I'm gonna find that skin. I'm leaning into it, lean back, lean back into the cuticle, just like that. That's exactly what I wanna achieve. That way I can open up the pocket. And literally when you're doing this with your clients, you are training this cuticle to be floppy. See that? And then I can sweep just a little more. Because let's be honest, everybody wants to have long, beautiful nails. All right, I have that standing up at a 90 degree angle, so I'm gonna be able to use my ball bit now. Before I do that, sometimes I opt out of the detail bit, but because this is training, I'm now gonna create more depth by using my detail bit. And by depth, I mean just really where you can see the nail just stand out on its own. It just is this beautiful refined look. 
It's not only popular, but it also sets you up for success because you're not fighting against any dead skin cells, which cause lifting. When we remove them all, all the dead skin cells in this area, what does the gel or product have to grab? And since I'm in the reverse direction, 12,000 RPMs, I'm flossing. And then I'm pulling. Ooh, see that? That was awesome. You wanna make sure you're not just using the point, but use the whole barrel. If I get in here and start doing one of these things with the tip, what it looks like is like Swiss cheese. It looks like little hail damage. So I wanna keep it as parallel as possible, the bit. And the reason I'm running it on the right side in reverse is because if this was forward, it would wanna rotate into the nail plate, which is not what we want. We don't wanna thin it the nail out. We just wanna roll it back. Okay. Do all 10 fingers and then put it in forward. I also really like the detail bit for clients who have like really deep C curves and curvatures because sometimes it's they're so deep, it's hard to get in there. Well, this bit can nicely separate the nail plate from the fold. That way I don't have to fight with my gel polish and I can nicely seal the product in on the nail plate and not get it on the skin. Beautiful. Remember with the detail bit, I'm never going up. I'm always going down because it's really pointy and I want to make sure my client safety is always a priority, especially those clients that are always talking with their hands. I mean, I'm that person, but with this bit, it's got to be careful. Okay. Now I'm going to take alcohol, clean my nail. That way I can see we never blind file. Always want to be in control of our bits and our e-file. Look at that. Can nicely get my pusher. Make sure you work with a sharp pusher like the Erica Safety pusher. That way you're not using physical force underneath this area. All right. Now that the cuticle is standing up, we're gonna switch to our ball bit. You can either use fine or medium, just depending on the type of cuticle. And really, I can't give you like a rule of thumb with that. It's really just trial and error. If you have somebody that's really sensitive, always err on the side of caution. And right now, I'm just thinning out the skin right here that's a little calloused, softening it. Softening all that skin that I've just pulled out. Oh, all right, now let's go ahead and do this. I'm at 15,000 RPMs. I'm pulling the skin tight. The circular motions, just following that dead skin. I want to make sure that I'm always going against it. Beautiful. Make sure you continue to move the bit. We're working at high RPMs. That way that dry skin is just lifted right up from the abrasiveness of the bit. Wonderful. Look at that. So nice. So at this point in the service, I would apply my gel polish or nail polish. If I were to apply nail polish though, I would wanna do my oil now. So either way, however you wanna do it, I always finish my services with my polishing ball. And the reason for that is we've been spraying alcohol, we've been dehydrating the nail and the skin around it. Now is my time to rehydrate and set the nail up for success. And what I mean by that is having no hangnails, I'm softening the skin, and that roughness, that the abrasiveness that I was exfoliating with, now I'm just smoothing everything down. My last pass is always down because that's the natural way the skin grows. And I'm literally hitting that proximal, I'm covering the bit in that proximal nail fold area. Everything that I've been exfoliating, now I want to soften. Some people, oh yeah, that's exactly what I love right there exfoliating, working that skin so it's nice and smooth, pulling, pulling, pulling. 
Okay, so if this was now my polish, I would wanna make sure that I'm using alcohol and acetone and really scrub up the oil off of the nail plate before applying my base coat and my color. If it was gel polish, then I wouldn't have to worry about it. That would just be my last step. But because polish doesn't dry quickly, I wanna make sure I do that and push back. And there you have it, that's it. That was satisfying. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe for additional e-file techniques and we'll see you next time.